Live from Lenexa, Kansas, the sports epicenter of the world. Sh we're shooting in Nexus Studios. Wow. It's your boys. Wow. Justin and Vic. Yes. With uh, Jesus and football. Football and baseball and basketball and other sports like hockey, but not, not hockey. really hockey. But we will talk hockey. This Probably not, though. Not, though. We're, but we will. We won't. Ever. We will. That was like a hard one for me. It was like <laughs> a hard no. Is that a hard no? You know, we do have some <clears throat> Nexites that, that enjoy hockey. And you would think in Kansas, not so much, but we, you got, we got some. Where's our nearest large body of water? <laughs> Literally, Clinton Lake funny count. story. I was in Hawaii, and when I brought up I lived in Kansas, they looked at me like they were in pain, and he was like, you're so landlocked there. I had never thought of us as landlocked. Landlocked? landlocked. I and think it was tough. I think mm. ocean locked would be like the more appropriate term. Like yeah. land locked. You, land locked. Land means you're not locked. You're you're unlocked. You can actually go somewhere. <laughs> you're so ocean locked here. You're so <laughs> stuck. What are you gonna do? Oh, I'm sorry that I'm not free to take a paddle boat into the ocean. <laughs> True. Well, well, welcome hey, to Jesus in football. Not at all what the show is about. <laughs> right? So let's talk a little bit about Jesus in football, right? Let's talk about ourselves first. Why we why we want to do this? Yeah. Because we're sports nuts. Yes. We're ridiculous. We're crazy. We, we really only relate with one another. We don't even have normal conversations with people. No. And, and actually, and at work, we don't even talk about anything else. So I'm, I'm just kidding. What, do you, what is it that you'd say you do here? <laughs> <laughs> so, but so we started thinking about it, right? We love yeah. Jesus. Right. We love sports. Mm -hmm. Put them together. It's like, it's like a fusion restaurant, only right? it's not a restaurant. It's a show. It's a, a show. About things that we love which is Jesus and it's sports. It's a fusion show. But we, you, we said football because it's like crab cakes and football. Right. That's what Kansas does. Jesus and football. That's Just so you guys know, it, we will talk about lots of sports things. It's not just strictly football. It's just we, we settle on that in the name because that's where we, we you know, it, it is the most popular sport in America. You're going to yeah. win out and eventually we'll talk about the Kardashians. But I'm going to fight you. <laughs> I'm going to fight you because I know that's Please, part of it. Please. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. But as What's you can Kylie see, doing? behind this guy, we, we, yeah, we, we got uh, a lot of Ohio stuff because if you didn't know, Justin's from OH. I-O. Right? That's right. Yeah. You know, grew up in Columbus, born in the Akron area, grew up in Columbus, went to Ohio State, um, sports nut, really loyal to my, my state roots. Right. And, um, you know, I think it's kind of fun that, you know, we root for each other's teams, yeah, like over sure. time. So it's easy. I was team Kansas. It's easy as a Royals fan to, to love the Browns. Like we, there's very common ground there. I mean, <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> Only you guys have won a championship. Right. That hurts. Yeah. It hurts. Very, very recently. Yes. But, you know, first we wanted to start off the day with a, a quick topic. Yes. Uh, a Let's hot hit it. topic. Hit it. Kyler Murray. Uh, just came out that he is officially going just for football, right? All football. All football. What do okay, you think so about weigh that? in on this, and I will say I think it's a great decision. Yeah. And I think that this decision comes down to you've seen Baker do so well his first year, right? right? And obviously they're very close. Baker rooted for him. I don't know if you followed that, but Baker was like, he called it back-to-back. -back. That's what we call back-to-back -back was his tweet. I okay. thought that was kind of okay. fun. Heisman winners. Right, right. Um, so I think he sees the success there. I think he sees Mahomes in his second year totally shredding the league. Right. And so it's the league is different now. Like yeah. a young player doesn't have to sit for a year. You can come in. You can make an impact right Definitely. away. It helps that it's the thinnest quarterback class probably in five years. Yeah. You know Not only I mean? that, you look After, at teams in the NFL, uh, like Super Bowl winning quarterbacks, Eli Manning and Joe Flacco are like being thrown to the wayside right now. And yeah, th yeah there's so many... So many opportunities for young. Would you say it's a young kids game now? <laughs> I would. I'd say except for Tom Brady, he has something to say about. <laughs> except sorry, for the guy that I'm actually sorry. Uh, wins. Uh, um, darn you, Tom. Sorry, it was too soon. It was too uh, soon. Yeah, no, but I I also think it has a lot to do with the fact that baseball is so hard to actually yes. get to the top level. Yes, and you we even have a homegrown guy that's a perfect example. Bubba Starling went to Gardner High School. Okay. Was a huge football prospect coming out of high school and decided to go the baseball route. Signed signed a good deal for for These baseball deals are really good. It's like four or five million dollars to go to the Royals, which was an awesome opportunity at the time. But he's still yet to make it to the big leagues. I hope he does. I'm root for the kid, but like you can't blame Kyler Murray for going the other route and saying, "Listen, I know for a fact that like if <clears> I'm <throat> he's taken in the first round, yeah, 
probably going to get a chance. Well, and a franchise, if he's taking the first round, which he will be, there's only one other quarterback, Dwayne right. Haskins from the Ohio State <laughs> University. Just a little shameless plug there. But, I mean, those are the only two guys that I think are going to go in yeah. the first round. Maybe Oregon's QB, but that's, mm, that's debatable. Yeah. 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 And so, you know you're going to be a first rounder. You know you're going to get that huge paycheck. You know what I mean? Right. Comparable money, if not more. Right. And you know the franchise is going to be invested in you for at least three years. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. So, for me, it makes a ton of sense. There's the injury aspect, but, I mean, if you're a pitcher, you could be, you know, a, a one game away from Tommy John surgery. <laughs> right. You just never Every know. Every single year. So, you might as well. And the game, again, the game is changing. These guys are moving around a lot more. Um, they're effective right out of the box. You're yeah. going to get endorsement deals and everything else. So, right. it makes a ton of sense. Can we also talk about the life of a backup NFL quarterback too like so nice the dream it's it's amazing what do you, what's your job I carry a clipboard for seven million dollars a year <laughs> and I typically I typically pray that the quarterback doesn't get hurt <laughs> after I, a certain point and in practice I pretend I'm a different quarterback for, yeah for the defense it's yeah. pretty it's really tough it's a it's, tough it's a tough gig for yeah. seven figures <laughs> seven <laughs> figures right. but well th let's talk about this though Kyler Murray 1.5 million dollars we were we were talking about it a little right. bit earlier yeah so think about this for a second you're Kyler Murray. You have to give back $1.35 million of your signing bonus. Right. So you made the point, like you get to keep like a, you know, yeah, like almost 200K, years. not bad. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Yeah. So you're giving most of it back though. I want to know the tax consequences. I know this is like really nerdy, <laughs> but like he made that money last year. Taxes are due on April 15th. He's giving it back this year. Like, how does that work? I want Surely to know. Surely there's got to be something where they can be like, hey, I was a millionaire, but I'm not. And it's called filing an extension. <laughs> Until I'm a millionaire again. <laughs> right, 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 right. right. Um, but Great. speaking of baseball, I had something I wanted to talk about today because in front of me I have uh, a foul ball that I caught. The only oh. one I've ever kept. It was off the bat of Alex Gordon. Yep. Whoop, um, whoop, whoop. What was that? Can I get? Let's, <laughs> whoop, whoop. Sound effect. <laughs> choo, 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 choo. <laughs> Big foul <Jake>. ball. Um, <laughs> so Alex Gordon, my, my twin, my lookalike. You uh, guys do look a lot alike. Right? Represent. Weird. After that, I have caught three or four... Foul balls at Kauffman Stadium. Have you really? And I, yeah. What are the stat? Like, what are the statistics? Like the odds of four being hit in your general area? There's, I've never had one in my area. There's a, it, it's a lifestyle. It is. <laughs> it's right? a, it's like you know where you want to sit. I sit, and you 100 percent go for that reason. Uh, Haley, How many kids Haley, have you elbowed? <laughs> Haley and my family knows. I got the outside seat because if it's even within in 100 aisle, yards, yep. I'm running. Oh. And so. But I was with you when you got one. There's yeah, there's spots that you can that you can get tickets for. Like obviously off to the right side or left side, foul, uh, yeah, halfway yeah, deep, yeah. Pr prime foul ball area. But the reason I want to bring this up is what do you have models? Do you have like statistical models where you know exactly where to be? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you have <laughs> a flow chart. Yeah. No, what's what's the proper age when you have to start not keeping foul balls? Mm. Right? What's foul ball etiquette at the stadium? Because I feel okay, like, I'll play. I'll bite. Right. I got to say, it's like mid to late 20s. <laughs> okay. By that point, I feel gotcha. like you need to be an adult. You need to realize you need to adult. Right. And you need to give it away to a kid. That's my, that's my right. take. You know what I mean? Because you're still, you're still a kid. I, I mean, I, you know, all the way through your teens, right? I mean, course, that's still course. exciting and there's a yeah, rush. Yeah. And then I'm going to be, I'm just going to throw myself under the bus. Like I wasn't a kid person in my early 20s at all. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm more of a kid person now, right. considering we run a preschool here. You right. gotta be. But I you know, I, I would say by mid twenties, late twenties, that's when you start going, Okay, here here you go, kid. Right. It's not about you anymore. Let me ask you this then. Yes. Does Wait, the, wait, you gotta weigh in. What's your what's the, your age? Does the batter have anything to do with it? Yes. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> right? Let's Touché. say let's say um let's say that it's uh Francisco Lindor. <laughs> I'm keeping that and I'm thirty six years old and I am I'm 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 not ashamed. <laughs> okay. Seven year old girl sitting next to you. Is it Lindor? my seven year old girl? Because no. then it's still going home with me and I'm fine right. with that. You, right? yeah. okay. yeah. That's that's the gameplay. You have to have a kid. Bring your kid and turn and, ha and hand it to him. Oh, my dad it's used genius. to actually shove us to the front of the autograph line. No yeah. joke. Like he yeah. was making that play, like get up in there. Oh, yeah. I, that's probably what I'm going to do with Peachy. That's, that's so if genius. you don't know me, I have a daughter named Peachy. And uh, that's her nickname. Yep. We're not hippies. We don't live in a van in the in the woods or anything like that. She just she just kind of no. The, like, van, the van is in the city. But I could totally see myself in the future when the Indians come to town, dressing her up to look adorable, yeah. and shoving her up in there, and then saying, "Hey, Daddy, will hold that for you." Yeah, and then it'll end up on and the then wall. She'll forget about it. She's not. Yeah, she's, she's not, gonna care. 
I, got a, do I have a daughter on the way, and I'm, that's, <coughs> I'm going to write Genius. that down. Yeah. We're innovators. <laughs> that's what we are. We're innovators. How to use your kid for right. selfish gains. That's It really says a lot about us. So are you weighing in on this? I, I No, I love your answer. I, I, I agree. It's 20s. But I, I want to get on to football. Oh, gosh, and and so when excited. I say football, I'm talking Go. about the the league everyone knows about. Let's The we, AFL. <laughs> now, here's the thing with the AFL. Do you want to hear something really funny? Yeah. It is not the AFL. So we were, we were talking we even, about this. We, we were talking about this. If we love football <laughs> this much, to do a show called Jesus and Football, and we don't know the name of your league, you're doing something wrong. Let me tell you why, AAF. It's the AAF? Al the Alliance of American Football. Isn't that like also I don't a, think a of file should ever you, be in there. Like a file you can save on your Mac? Like, oh no, this is an AAF file. It's an file. AAF doc. <laughs> Dot AAF. Oh, man. It sounds like something should do that be, should, should be at the end of a website. It does. Hey, so, I just sent you an email. Uh, it's an AAF. I hope you can open that on your Yes. PC. Now, there's a lot of issues with this league, but I was, I was talking, I was thinking about this earlier. Like, yeah. I really want to be too into this. Yeah, me Like, too. I really just want to because I really want to be I messy. really miss football. And so the scores this week, though, <laughs> were absolutely ridiculous. Like, there is no parody in this league from, from week one, right? Okay. So this is my way too early prediction here. <laughs> okay. But, like, Orlando beat a team by, like, 40 points. Mm. And I want to say San Jose beat a team by, like, 30. Right. Who is San Jose's other? quarterback again? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I don't know. There's, there should be good talent, though. There's, though there is. I, I noticed uh, an, an ex-Brown was on one of the teams. Richardson, running back, had 57 Trent, yards and a touchdown. The greatest, the only bright spot. <laughs> of any GM decision before John Dorsey is the fact that we duped, we really robbed was it Indianapolis. Indy? It was Indy. Indy yeah. I, oh I love goodness. him forever for a first round pick. And do you know who got a lot of flack for that? Jim Brown, when Trent Richardson came out, said he's not anything special. And he got like lamb blast. He was nuts. People were like, oh, he's just, he's just jealous that we're got, we have this new superstar. He, he was, was right. right he was and right. everybody was wrong. Yeah, everybody. But here's he would, the thing. He here's a role. Know. Don't draft a running back from Alabama. Don't draft ever. a running back in the first round. Ever. Like the chief, the Chiefs. Look at their last. How I mean, go. Where all did you the way guys back get Charles? To the night. Charles was a third rounder. You guys are Kareem really good. Kareem was a third rounder. Who? 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 Kareem. Hmm. <laughs> Kareem. We'll come back. We'll come Kareem, back. Kareem just, Hunt. Kareem Hunt, wait, 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 we got to stay on the AAF. A a a a the, the dot AAF. <clears throat> so you said something I thought was really interesting. Give me your theory on, on the, the way that they chose the cities. The, they they the made teams. a mistake, first of all. <clears throat> okay. If you want me to get invested. One, naming the league was <laughs> they ne number one. Sorry, they made yeah. a mistakes. Yeah. Mistake. <laughs> <laughs> they made a mistake. Made plural. Mistake They plural. made one mistakes. Yeah. Um, listen, you can name a team after a city. If you're an established league, right? The Kansas City Chiefs. I, I rep KC all over myself, right? Like, right. yeah, that's my town, Kansas City, right? If you're just starting off, you should have like shot for a broader audience. Like, yep. maybe you could have just been like a state team. Instead I of San totally Jose, agree. Like the California. Why would you whatever. not want a bigger? Because if I'm in California, I might hate San Jose, right? You know what I mean? But then get the whole state, or or even go wide, cast a wider net. Like, yeah. we're the West Coast, whatever. Bluebirds, the Great like, whatever Plains, wanna, the Great. Prairie dogs. Exactly. Probably not the prairie dogs. Like Memphis? Penguins. A Memphis, but like you Memphis? Great Pirates. You're going to get one. If your team's Memphis, you're going to get one city. Memphis. Yes. Like, not even Nashville's going to cheer for that team. It reminds me of Liar Liar when she lies about her age to be older. And he's like, why would anybody want to do that? Like, why would anybody <laughs> want their team to just be Orlando? Right? Magic. Exactly. Sorry. Sorry, Magic fans. Yikes. Yikes. But yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I would have totally cheered for the Midwest. Cougars or whatever his name was. I don't know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We, we, there's not even a team. I was looking at this. Like, there's not even a team I can get behind, really. I mean, I can because I will. It's because we're <laughs> landlocked. That's the problem. Did you notice that I said Great Plain Pirates? Yes. Like, like there, there is nothing pirate-like in the Great Plains. <laughs> but oh, I like Great Plains. You know what I mean? I do. Yeah. I do. I like it. Um, okay, so let's <laughs> talk real quick, though. Let's talk about these cities. Right. And you tell me. You tell me which one is going to be your team that you're going to care way too okay. much about. You ready? Okay. So we got, we're, is this our dot AAF draft? This is like I have a million pictures. I'm writing it down right now. Okay. If you're if we're drafting, <laughs> we're drafting an AAF. We need team. to know. Popular minds or inquiring minds want to know 
popular. Who you want? My- Poppy, popular. Is it Salt Lake? Okay. Okay, here we go. Ready? Why did they pick these cities? Birmingham? The only thing that comes to mind when I hear Birmingham is they bombed the governor. Thank, thank you, Leonard Skinner. That's all I can come up with. I can't, I can't give you anything else. Now, this one they did well. It's Arizona. They got a whole state there. That's not, that's, right? that's, that makes sense. Well, well done. Memphis. No. Orlando. No. San Antonio. Why wouldn't you just say the Texan? Like San, Texas, San it's Antonio. a massive state. Yeah, that makes no sense. You would have got the whole state behind you. Yeah, I, if I'm a Cowboys fan, this is what I would, if you in the comments for this video, just tell us if you live in Dallas, would you, are you going to get behind this team? Or you might just hate the league all totally. Can so ask, San Antonio. Can I ask you this? Yes. Do you know Birmingham's logo? Have you seen them? No. The logos look like some kid made them on like the very first Mac. <laughs> What's their mask? Sorry, with their mascot. What do they call it? The Birmingham. I don't know. I'm going to have to look it up for you. I don't okay. even have it here. I don't have it here. <laughs> okay. I'm totally unprepared. All right. Uh, Atlanta. And okay. San Diego. Yeah. They're the San Diego wooden ships. <laughs> <laughs> little Anchorman uh, reference for yes. you. Okay, I, I'm narrowing it down. Okay, tell me. I've narrowed my list down to two teams. And you might as well, since I should give you the first week scores. Okay, so I can figure out. <laughs> now, here's, now, this is important. This is a Yahoo Sports article that says, Big win for the AAF as new football league post better rankings than the Rockets versus the Thunder. That's... Big and honestly, if you're the NBA, you are embarrassed. Wow, that's sad. NBA. This is a like this is your D League, the NFL's D League. Is, is <clears> that <throat> more of a testament to the NBA or the, the the fact that we just love football and we'll take anything we can get? Yeah, absolutely. Right? Yeah. yeah, I just okay. But how? So 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 think about being a sports fan, going to ESPN's website. Do you put the AAF before you put the NBA on the side <laughs> tabs? Because you know they rank it based on popularity. <laughs> right. I don't know. Just throwing this out there. Uh, shame on you. Okay. Who did Arizona win this last week? Uh, I believe they did. Okay. What about Birmingham? Orlando and Arizona, I think, were the two big winners. Okay. Let me give it to you here. Here we go. Coming to you live. Choo, 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 from the Lenexa studio. <laughs> okay, here we go. You ready? Yeah. Talk about parody. The Arizona hot shots. <laughs> Come on. That's not even a football term. What would you use hot shots for? I just spit my coffee. You did. You did. Okay. Arizona hot shots versus... (laughs) You can't make this up. The Salt Lake Stallions. Oh, my gosh. 38 to 22. (laughs) What's Birmingham's name? Birmingham what? Iron. Iron. They're just... Iron sharpens iron. Little... Hey, there's a little Bible reference for you. Hey. Uh, Versus the Memphis Express. Now I guarantee you, a lot they're of people not might even know, a thing. They're just urgent. <laughs> <laughs> Here's why, though. I guarantee you. So FedEx, their headquarters is in Memphis. I guarantee you, they own the team. Just, just throwing that out there. I bet you're right. <laughs> FedEx, we are Memphis in a hurry. Not to be uh, <laughs> awesome. Not awesome. to be outdone. UPS has the uh, the Baltimore Browns. I don't know. I don't Who's know. Birmingham? I, I need to hear Birmingham. Can you find it? The Iron. Well, you're right. You, see, you already yeah, said yeah. it. It was so bad. I no, no, forgot no. it within 10 seconds. This I'm is, going. It, it gets. Hold on. You've got four more teams and it gets okay. worse, my friend. Okay. The Orlando Apollos. Honestly, that, that one's <laughs> probably the best one so far. The Apollos. At, at least it goes with the city and the rockets and everything going uh, on and whatever. Whatever. It's, it's better. Than rockets. It's Orlando. No, I mean, I mean, actual rockets. Oh, sure, 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 sure. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was, I was, I really. Sorry, I threw you I, off. I instantly, you were I was to... like, what the? Well, I was, I was immediately going to, like, like just Greek gods. Like, why are we, why are we doing this? Um, Atlanta Legends. Okay, that's not bad. Well, they got crushed, forty that's to bad. six. Oh gosh! So they're not the legends. No, they're legend nothing. has it they suck. <laughs> <laughs> they're not good. <laughs> Uh, San Antonio Commanders, the Commanders, okay, and the San Diego Fleet. Now, here's your scores: the Arizona Hotshots win 38-22. Okay, Birmingham Iron beat the Express. Just, listen, I don't even, <coughs> I don't even want our audience to have to hear any more scores. So I'm just gonna say my <laughs> my your team, my team of choice. I am going with the Hotshots. Hotshots you know, all I, day. I, yeah, I just. I think uh, I got to stick to my guns and go with the one that chose to name it after a whole state, even though their name is the Hot Shots, and it's 
ridiculous. That's that's my team. That's my team this year. Hot shots. I'm rooting for you. Who who you got? So I was gonna take Arizona because Candace is from there. So it's easy for <laughs> us to get behind Arizona you. teams. But you took it, okay. and we can't have the same team. So I'm gonna go with the Orlando Apollos. Okay. Because my parents live in Florida. Apollo. And because they won 40 to 6. And yeah, that's the real as a Browns fan, I deserve to have some kind of good team. <laughs> so I, I, I need the winners. I need a championship some way. That's understandable. You want to hear something interesting? What's that? So 10 years ago, I decided that I was going to have a good team somewhere. And I'm very loyal to my team. So I had to go out of, out of sport. Of course. Right? And so I picked Manchester United. Okay? I was like, safe, safe. They haven't won since. Safe. <laughs> They have one sense. I'm a hex. Justin, so, Justin is the Cleveland curse. I am. I am. And so now I, because of, of Sean Reed, I've become a Liverpool fan. Yeah. And they lost the, their last championship uh, game. I didn't want to oh tell them no. it was my fault, but it was my fault. You just got to stop rooting for the teams you like. You just got to pretend you hate them. I do. You know? I do. It's bad. Um, it's tough. But speaking of, uh, of football... <clears throat> Um, big news. Today. There's there's a massive I'm, elephant in this room. Right I do now. want to apologize that it took this long to get to this topic because uh, well, AF is compelling, bro. It is. <laughs> it really but wouldn't is. wouldn't it wouldn't it just so happen on our first show day? The first day we decide to film, literally an hour before we get ready. God, the Cleveland Browns. You, I don't know if I can get it out. I'm so excited. <laughs> this this to me is proof that Jesus is a Browns fan again. <laughs> he forsake us for a long time. We're the only thing that he has ever left or forsaken. Just I, I can, side note, Jesus will never leave you or forsake you I can, unless you're the Cleveland Browns. I can promise you he, Jesus had nothing to do with this. I know, one. I know, honestly. Well, it's it's wrong even saying that because of the, the nature of it. So, right. Kareem Hunt, welcome to the Cleveland Browns. I, like, I can't even tell you where I've gone today. I've been on... Both sides of the fence, all yep. over the place, from talk me off a ledge, we can't handle him, to Super Bowl next year, right. if we can get by you guys. I, I but, literally remember saying to you a week and a half, two weeks ago. You did. Cleveland's interested. You, in were, a you were a like, profit. No way. No way. That's not going to happen. Well, okay. So and beyond, I understand being, that. beyond being scarred and jaded, right? right? I sincerely don't believe that we have the stability we're not an organization that is stable enough to bring in a behavior issue, right? right. I mean, we just got rid of, after years of working with Josh Gordon, we... Wait, hold on. Do you guys have had behavior issues before? The Browns? <laughs> Weird. Have you ever heard... There's a guy called Johnny Football. <laughs> that, can, by the way, can we remove that moniker? Like, he, 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 doesn't, he doesn't deserve it anymore. He's Johnny Nightclub. He's just, Yeah. Actually, they call him Johnny Eight Ball, which is like probably Johnny Nightmare. Yeah, it's whatever. It wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't good. Let's not good. Not good. Not good. All right. Let's get out of let's, let's, get out of that. let's just forget him, even though he's on the wall behind me. <laughs> I mean, he was cool though. But like Baker has totally changed the culture, and right. I really think that this all started. Not to make the entire show about the Browns, but I will for a minute because that's that's my part here, <laughs> right? Right. right? Um, but it all started with the signing of Jarvis Landry to me and yeah. bringing in. I could see that John Dorsey. He was the first player that like showed that everybody wanted that showed like I will go to Cleveland. Yeah. That was massive for us. Can I am I correct in saying that Baker Mayfield is is everything Cleveland hoped Manziel would be? 100% like, absolutely. Cuz he's Brought the he's swag. got the swag still. Yes. He's he's got the talent. He has the charisma. He's got he's, the arm. He's even not he's even that arm, but a phenomenal arm. Right. For he's us. even a little unlikable for people outside of Cleveland. Not for me. I, I, I think he's I think he's awesome. But absolutely. But but he's not in trouble. I mean And but, that's he's yeah. he's so Cleveland though. You know what yeah. I mean? Like at the end of the day, Cleveland really starts kind of the the upward movement of the Rust Belt. So it's very it's it's a blue collar, hardworking town. Um, he's a guy that has been an underdog. The city itself feels like an underdog. He's he really plays up to that. He fits perfectly in our culture. Yeah. Like we are a team that holds grudges. By the the way, fact that he holds a grudge against Hugh Jackson is hilarious. If yeah. Cleveland gets an AAF team, Cleveland Rust. Oh yeah. Yeah. Cleveland that's, Rust. That's 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 against that's, against the the Memphis Iron. We need to trademark that tomorrow just so they have to buy it from us. We're gonna <laughs> that, cyber sit. On that That'll cyber the, squat. What, what are they going to call their championship game? Like the the Ooh. mediocre bowl? Or like the... The affiliated Super Bowl? Right. The, 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 I want to see the about, rust against What's the not iron. as super as Super Bowl? Because, I mean, it's it's right. like mediocre, like the mediocre bowl. Right. Yeah, the the decent bowl. 
The de- That'd the- be a great name. <laughs> the Decent Bowl. And it'll still obviously outperform the NBA. We got <laughs> I know, I know the NBA playoffs are on tonight, but don't forget the decent bowls on with the hot shots against the iron. <laughs> and side note, side note, we, we decided there's going to be a lot of things that we decide to do and then never do again. This, just telling you that right now. <laughs> Tonight's game of the week is the 10 win Knicks what? versus the 11 win Cleveland Cavaliers. You don't want to miss this game. <laughs> Can't even say it without laughing. No, so Kareem Hunt. Let me <clears throat> let me just as a Chiefs fan. Yes, give me your, give me a hot take from the choo uh, choo choo hot takes. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, awesome we're lo- we're a little low budget. Um, I gotta say, as a as a Chiefs fan, uh, it hurts not having the guy anymore because from a football side of things, amazing what football a story. player, what great, a story. great kid to watch. Uh, runs the ball hard nosed, great out of the backfield catching the ball. Um, that, that said what he did was awful. Um, yep. Uh, hope, hope he gets his life figured out and, and stuff straight. But, but for Cleveland, I mean, I think it's a, a no brainer. Like the, it's a one year deal. They retain his rights. So if they want to trade him, let's say I think best case scenario, he, he's, he gets like a half year suspension plays the rest of the year for you guys. And you have a uh, running back tandem, and if he plays good enough, you can either keep the dude, trade him yep. for a second, third round pick. I mean, there's so many options massive. there. And and what what's the worst case scenario? You took a under a million dollar flyer on this guy, and it doesn't pan out. Darn. Like, yeah. 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 Well, I mean, and, and you're 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 getting him at a discount because let's be real, there's going to be a suspension. Yeah. It's going to be sure. you know probably six games <laughs> minimum. Um, I don't see it being a season. No, I I think they'll count him does, missing less. Does Roger does Roger even have a formula? Is there any type of formula? No, no. Is it an eight ball? I, I like always, he just keeps asking the eight ball until it says yes. He, like a, I, he actually borrowed the dartboard that the AAF yes. used to pick names. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> that's what he used. That's that's one hundred percent it. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Apollos. He just filled in different things and said six weeks. So Two you, weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The All Ray right. Rice, they call that the Ray Rice formula, <laughs> two weeks. I mean, come on. Now, so, I, like I said, I went all over the place, right? So I started with, you know, we can't handle it as an organization. Is right. he a bad guy? Obviously, like any decent human being, like, you know, especially as a guy, like it is, it, it is one of those things that's just awful to think right. about laying hands For on a sure. woman. We never condone what he did. Um, we also, we talk about Jesus. We talk yeah. about grace here. Yeah. So, hey, little verse of the week. Just saying this to all you Cleveland fans and all you haters out there. Colossians 3.13, bear with each other and forgive one another. If any of you has grievances against someone, forgive as the Lord forgives you. And that, like, just to get serious about it for a half second, that really always hits me. Yeah. You know what I mean? There are so many times when I'll get mad at Candace or she'll get mad at me. And when I think about the great grace that God has given me, yeah. you know, I, there's this quote and I can't, I'll never, I'll never get it perfectly, but basically like nobody understands how to give forgiveness and grace, like somebody that realizes how much they need it from Jesus. Right. right, right. And I, I, I've read now tons of articles about, you know, different people. There's, you know, some really prominent writers or well-known writers in Cleveland that are, you know, totally against this. Right, what he did course. was unforgivable, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Well, like, Hey, this is Jesus in football. Right. And Jesus forgives all, all of our sins, everything that, that he will do in the future. Yeah. Now, then you can make the argument, well, does he deserve to be in football? Does he deserve to have that platform? I mean, that's a, that's such a, it's such I, a, so forgive tough. me for this because it is a touchy to- topic. And I do think a lot of stuff in sports is shoved under the proverbial rug. Because Absolutely. As long as you're good at it, we don't care. Um, right? Especially that in college kind, towns, right? Where things just that disappear kind of attitude, and never exactly. happen. Exactly. But that said, like, where do you draw the line for that? Like, okay, so he doesn't deserve to play football, but what does he deserve to do? <coughs> like, okay, but so somebody that beat a woman does deserve to to be the CEO of a company or to, to have this job or that job. Like, it's it's awful. And he does, they better make sure that that Kareem has, has gone through extensive stuff and is of the right mindset first before he even gets an opportunity. That that has to be absolutely. Done. But at some point, 
we have to give people another shot. Like we got to give it. And I know Kareem Hunt's been in more than one incident of late. Right. It sounds like he has an anger management problem on top of an alcohol problem and uh, no great decisions are made when drunk. Uh, Absolutely. <laughs> so uh, it's one thing to know not to hit a woman, but then it's also just to know not to put yourself in bad situations. Exactly. Like exactly. Well, and I think that there's always an opportunity here too. Like if you, if you invest in him, I mean, let's be real. What Kareem Hunt needs right now is leadership. He yes. needs guidance. He For needs sure. therapy. He needs help. If the NFL just totally shut him out, that's only going to hurt him. And there'll be a blast radius of other people that are hurt True. as a result versus why not help him, counsel him, mentor him. Um, you know, absolutely punish him. Yeah. There's, there are consequences to our actions. Yeah. There is a punishment that should be served and it will be served whatever it is, but then maybe partner with him. I mean, and if, if you're Kareem Hunt, I would just say this to you, Kareem. Um, I, I know maybe he'll come on our show at right. some point. Sure you know, he will. We, he, he's a friend of the show. <laughs> can he be a friend of a show? That's, sure. This is the totally. first show. Friend yeah. of the show. But like you can make this something now that you speak out against. You can make yeah. this something that you um, you help the younger players. You can be a mentor. There's there's always a testimony on the other side of this where you can, you know, you can bring people to Jesus through how you overcame this yeah. and, you know, now be a champion for something that is awful, that does hurt people. Domestic violence is a real problem, is a real threat, you know? So people, there's a lot that can come out of this. People are so fast to ask for grace, but so slow to hand it out. And, Amen. And, uh, I think the 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 verse you just read the the biggest kick in the teeth portion of it for me is as God also forgave you. absolutely right the whole verse yeah. is like okay fine I'll forgive the whatever forgive okay great great it's like as God also forgave you oh yeah that's right oh, I'm a I'm I a dirtbag too and yeah. I mess up all the time and I am not perfect and okay I should probably forgive other people too well it's like the whole you know Jesus said it best with the log and the speck right I right. mean draw a circle around yourself. Work on everybody inside the circle right. before we start throwing stones. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, let's let's For call sure. it what it is. But uh, let's let's end with this. Yeah, Kareem, uh, I wish you well as a Chiefs fan. I hope you get your life straight. Uh, I I hope I hope you don't get too quick of an opportunity before you learn what you've done. That's but at good. the same time, yeah. I hope you get another opportunity to to prove yourself right and uh, that you've changed. But uh, yeah. And I, I will just add, that was really well said. I will then take the more lighter approach and say, you're going to look really good in orange and brown. And, you know, I'm just going to say right now that in the AFC championship game, as you take on the fighting Patrick Mahomes, <laughs> I want you to know that we're going to love having you on our sideline rather than theirs. <laughs> right. Well, guys, uh, we appreciate you tuning in. Yeah. Uh, don't forget at Nexus Church, there's a men's Bible study coming up. Uh, if you are not signed up for that or. Yes. And. Ladies are gonna ladies they, are gonna love the show. They are. There's gonna, a ladies Bible study that's gonna be absolutely phenomenal. Uh, check out our website www.nexuskc.com. I like saying three W's. Three W's. Nexuskc.com. It's something that Chameleonaire did at the beginning of a song, and I'll just never forget it. Oh my it. goodness, Chameleonaire. I went <laughs> February twenty first. Right. Well, we say Jesus in football, but we're gonna talk about everything. We're even gonna talk about Chameleonaire and Chingy Radio on Pandora, <laughs> but not hockey. We're gonna talk about Chameleonaire, but not hockey. I think that's a fair, that's a fair <laughs> trade. And and so I'll leave it. My my last take will be go Orlando Apollos. <laughs> Let's go. Do me proud shots. this coming weekend. All right, guys, have a good one. We'll talk to you later. <laughs>